it's taken by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Well, we thought this could get interesting. Here's interesting, an onside kick to start this thing. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. Now there's two sides to every coin. You come on the road, you get the onside kick to start the game. What a boost, but you don't get it. And now your back's against the wall a little bit. You're exactly right. You nailed it perfectly. And so many ways to go at it when you're on the road. You think to yourself, well, if we start on defense, we blitz them early to try and create a big play. If we start on offense, we throw the big pass downfield. In this case, they said, forget all of that. Let's do it on special teams and try and catch them off guard with an onside kick unsuccessfully. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Gotta like that start. 14 yards to get him going. Now Lawrence on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. First the ball free and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Lawrence. Tried for Kirk, and he's got him on the crossing route. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. On second and goal, Lawrence. Touchdown! Chris Manhurts from three yards out. And the Jaguars are on the board first here this afternoon. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. And this is up and good. The score now 7 nothing Jaguars. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Sound wide to Singletary. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Here's Allen to throw it. Uncorks one for Davis. And it's knocked away and incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining.
So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they'll get the conversion on a gain of 14. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in this state at Florida Atlanta. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The slot man in motion right. Right back to Singletary on second down. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So first and ten now from the thirty. From the gun, it's Allen. Fighting Knox there, complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. First down, here's the run with Cook. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second and a yard, Allen. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. They end up getting stuck twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown, Bills. Devin Singletary, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Teams had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. Right. 
Ready, break. Now Lawrence on third and long. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. ETN up the middle. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. On first down, Lawrence. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down at 17. Now Lawrence to throw. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's a give to ETN. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Yeah. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick, and the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection, and now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. This is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Complete seven seconds remaining. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw, it's Allen. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Foyasade Aluikin, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. ETN once more. About three yards there to the 27. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. 
Now Lawrence. He'll drop this one off with ETN. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. A handoff for ETN. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. On second and two, Lawrence dancing to his left. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! Evan Ingram from ten yards out. And the Jags have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. come to the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. They'll run on first down with Singletary. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They go right back to Singletary. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And now they'll throw with Allen. Steps away to his left. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. What well, good hands there defensively. That's second down. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, 26 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this ball game. Here are the final moments of the third quarter. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And, partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at 14. Now a 
timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Take it in at the three. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Looking to throw Lawrence. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On third down, Lawrence. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From the shotgun, Lawrence. That one complete downfield to Kirk. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now ETN. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? And the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On second down, ETN once more. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Another toe for ETN. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That will be their third and final stoppage as they'll only have the two-minute warning now remaining. They'll drop that underneath to ETN. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him. Touchdown, Jaguars! Travis Etienne, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Now he's forced out left. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, my initial thought was that maybe he was just trying to blindly throw this one away, and maybe he was. But he's going to get away with it because as he tried to throw it over the left sideline, there, there's a receiver right there in the area. So no ground to call. Yeah. 
trying to improvise. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. There was no one around him, but he took his eye off it, and it falls incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. It's complete to Diggs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. That third down conversion, good for 23. to throw once more over the middle complete that's McKenzie and he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line chewing up big yardage another nice gain there this one goes for 20 the drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown here's first and 10 throwing is Allen on the move to his left and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Here's Allen. Oh, he still brings it in off the tip here on the deep shot. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now Allen. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. This taken in at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, 
I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So a pressure kick there by the young man, and that should be enough to finish this one off. Well, he's a second-year guy now, so he says, don't call me a rookie anymore. And I tell you, he's got a bright future in this league. And kicks like that are going to make sure he sticks around for a good long run. A fun close.